Hello everyone. Hello my dear friends. Oh my gosh, I feel like it's actually it has been five months since my last video. As many of you know, I'm teaching music full time this year and it has been beyond anything I could imagine. Like difficulty wise, stress wise, anxiety wise, I've been going through a lot of really hard stuff. I mean things I have never gone through before like having a lot of difficulty sleeping the whole night through, waking up once, twice, thrice, I don't know if that's the word, three times in the night and, you know, sometimes not even going back to sleep. So an accumulation of, of fatigue and being exhausted. The job itself is so hard. I don't want to make this video about that, but I still wanted to touch upon it a little bit because it has been like my reality you know it's not just those hours that I go there it's also how I feel after I know many of you will understand that you know you're so so tired that after that like all I want to do is either sleep or relax lie down take a bath you know showers after work have been more than just a shower I mean I'm I'm taking them like this sacred ritual. Like I go in the shower and I just wash the day off, you know? I guess that's my first favorite of the video, like ritual sacred showers. I love lavender, so I use like a lavender body wash, African black soap uh, from Alafia. It is amazing. And I also love the Dr. Bronner's lavender soap. Um, just like breathe it in and really let the water wash over me. I feel like all the stress I felt is melting away, is washing away. So yeah, showers. Let me know in the comments if you also feel like showers can be such a healing ritual. Not just after a day of work, but even just in the morning, just to put you in the right mindset, you know, going in the shower, and like starting fresh, you know. I will be drinking some tea while we film this. I have been really loving Numi, Numi teas. They are such high quality. And I know some of you will find this weird, but I feel like it's infused with good energy. Like all Numi products, I feel they are such high energy teas. <laughs> I don't know if you get it. I read The Henna Artist recently, um, maybe like three months ago. I loved it. I mean, at first I wasn't sure, even I was even going to return it, like the first 80 pages or so. I was like, it's fine, but it's like too simple. I don't know. I was like, not really into it. Um, and also I didn't like the fact that they really are, you know, putting Reese's book club, you know, Reese Witherspoon. It's like printed on the book cover. I don't like when a book like, is trying to sell itself by saying it's approved by Oprah or by Reese Witherspoon, you know, like that's not a reason for me to buy it. But I loved the fact that it's set in 1950s India, uh, in Jaipur, and also in the Himalayan mountains of India. So part of it is there. It's the story of Lakshmi. She's a 30 year old henna artist living in the city of Jaipur. And she's amazing because um, she left her abusive husband, um, she started her own henna art business and she also kind of secretly helps women with anything that has to do with fertility and contraception. So very like woman power, kind of female power in the 1950s India, I mean can you imagine? The story is very well written, I felt like I was there. I could smell, you know, the city, the, the, the food that they would describe, uh, the way that she describes the henna art that she makes, all the, the stuff that happens. I love the different characters. I love the way the story unfolds. And I absolutely love the way she talks about different plants, like medicinal plants and stuff and flowers. And when she goes to the Himalayan mountains, it made me want to go back to India, but like to the Himalayas, because it looks absolutely beautiful there. Really nice read before bed or like in the morning, anytime, honestly. 
I was sad when it was over. Like, I feel like I'm going to read it again maybe in a couple of years. It made me want to read more books set in India. I feel like the atmosphere is just so interesting. I loved it. Highly recommend The Henna Artist by Alka Joshi. Speaking of India, <laughs> recipe book, uh, Vegan Risha's Indian Kitchen. I have been making so many recipes from this book. Um, they are so, so good. There are a lot of spices in Indian cooking that we you don't have like in your normal pantry, like ajwan seeds, um, fenugreek, what else? I had like curry leaves. Oh, and also like black cardamom. I had only normal cardamom, so black cardamom is like a smoked version, really good. Honestly, I think it's one of my favorite recipe books ever and Gab really likes it too. I've also discovered something called Redbubble. It's like you can print some products with your art on it. So for example, I got this laptop sleeve. Um, I like it, it's covered with tarot, tarot cards. Cool, eh? Um, so it's nice, it's cushiony, it's perfect. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And also I bought some stickers. Uh, so I love Frida Kahlo. I mean, she really inspires me and um, I love her life story. I love her art. Uh, when we were in Mexico, we visited her house, the Casa Azul, you know, the blue house in Mexico City. I actually like shed tears when I saw her art. It was amazing. So anyway, and I also love her hand earrings. <laughs> Um, a black cat with a third eye, crystals and stuff, some books, and on the back I have some more. So this one, because she looks a lot like Tigre, and this one, another one of Frida Kahlo, this is inspired by her own painting. She had a lot of health issues after an accident she had. And this one, really beautiful plant lady, because actually this one is by someone I know uh, from Instagram. We've never met in person. Um, you should really check her out. Her Instagram is Botanical Fairy. She's an artist, an amazing artist. I wanted to, you know, support her. And also I genuinely loved her drawings. So yeah, I really loved this, this one. And I feel like, um, some people are uncomfortable with like boobs and stuff, but why, like, it's not only like a sexual thing, but I love this drawing. It shows just like a female form in such an elegant way, you know? This is my bullet journal, by the way. I use it every single morning. I had these calendars from Nepal, but I don't have them anymore. This is kind of what it looks like, like, I have the things I want to do on a daily basis. I check when I do them. This is my routine. So I read the time that I did the things. And this is like a daily gratitude exercise. Every single day I write one thing from the day before that was positive, that was nice, I, that I'm grateful for. And at the end of the month, Gabriel and I, we sit down and we read each other. Oh, Tigre is coming. Can you hear her? Hello, baby. She's coming to say hello. Hello, baby. Can you see Coco? I think someone is here to say hello. Look at how much she's grown. Hello, Coco. Look at her. Look at how beautiful. I started doing dry skin brushing. Dry skin brushing is really something that I've been loving to do um, maybe once a week. I, I want to do it every, every day. So I use just like a normal dry skin brush. And this essential oil blend by Living Libations. It's called Verve and Tonic. And um, it's like an invigorating tonic. No, Tigre, no. She's eating the plant. All right. No, Cococito, no. 
I wish you could smell this. Like this is the definition of invigorating, you know, like so good. So I just put like a couple of So anyway, I put in a couple of drops in my palm and then I rub it and then I brush my whole body before my shower towards my heart. So the lymphatic system is stimulated by this practice. So I do my whole body. Uh, here I go like this. It's a little bit rough for like delicate skin. So here I, I barely, barely touch it, you know? I honestly, I'm doing it mainly just to relax. It just it's aromatherapy, it invigorates me and I know it's good for my lymphatic system, just for skin health as well. Okay, next I've been really loving Anima Mundi, Tigre. <laughs> this is their protection mist. It's made with Palo Santo. Um, all of their Palo Santo, it directly supports indigenous families that ethically wildcraft and replant in the wild. So it's not like, you know, cause you've probably heard of Palo Santo being like cut down just to make all of these Palo Santo sticks, but this one is well sourced, you know, ethically sourced. Really nice. I like to spray a couple like this. <laughs> this is my swirly thing just to get the scent around me. <laughs> okay, so Tigre is giving herself a bath right there. I've been really loving living libations. You know, this is one of my favorite um, brands that I've been using for years. It's a Canadian brand, so I love supporting a Canadian brand. So this is their sunscreen. Everybody loves the sunshine with zinc. This is a skin savior, you know? My skin is so soft when I use it. I've been using it every morning. I've been also giving it to Gab every morning to use. Both of our faces have been so much smoother. Um, yeah. Next is something I never thought I would buy, but it's a bronzer by 100% Pure. The only reason I bought it is because it was um, like on a big sale. Uh, usually I think it's like 45 Canadian dollars and it was $10. Like sometimes 100% Pure does this out of nowhere. They just like put a bunch of stuff like $10. Uh, my skin is like very dull during the winter and I don't want to use like a self tanner or anything. So this is what it looks like right now. I'll show you like it's not as dark. This is the darkest one and it's it's great. I mean, I add just a little bit. So just on my finger, you can see the color. But once you blend it in, it's like a beautiful kind of golden color. It makes a difference. Like it really wake, wakes up my face. I look more myself because I feel like my nature is to be more on the tan side um, you know because I have the Mediterranean blood I feel like when I'm too white it doesn't suit me I look a little bit sick you know almost done what I have on my nails it's like a very pretty um, ballerina pink I feel like and it's this one uh, sorry about this <laughs> it's by Be Kind it's a Montreal based company very ethically made it's vegan it's non-toxic nail polish um it's good quality i really like it love the way it applies the color stays on next thing is this this necklace and these earrings they're not by the same brand though so um these little earrings are so nice they're by ana luisa so i bought them after seeing nina montagne talking about them i love nina I got these because it looks like there's two, as you can see. Really, really nice. If you want to get something from Ana Luisa, I will give you like my a referral link down below and you'll get $15 off. So yeah, I don't know. I've been having a thing with gold jewelry these days. I don't know what it is. And this beautiful necklace is by YCL Jewels. It's an Australian brand. Oh, Tigre is here. Hello, baby. Hello, Coco. Hey, you go go. Oh. So yeah, for several months I was eyeing it. I mean, it's not inexpensive at all. <laughs> She's smelling the mic. It is very good quality gold. It's um gold vermeil, 14 carat. So it's like, it will last a long time if you take good care of it. I mean, I never wear it um, in the shower. You know, I will never wet it. I don't put it in during hot yoga. I was sleeping with it for a week and I was like, oh, maybe I shouldn't do that. So I stopped sleeping with it. 
so yeah um, I really love this necklace I love the little shapes you know like the it's like a lozenge with a little ball at the bottom really love it really nice I think that's it I feel like this video is already very long I hope you enjoyed this very simple video I mean I really miss making YouTube videos honestly I have four months left March April May and June so four months <laughs> four months left of this very hard work and um, I honestly am trying to make time for filming and editing I want to make these travel videos so badly I'm just too tired too tired with this job exhausted I also sometimes think am I just making excuses but honestly I don't think so I think I'm really pushing myself extremely hard once summer comes I want to make videos every single week and yeah that'll be much more fun so thank you for watching i hope you liked this video subscribe to my channel and join the holistic maya family give me a thumbs up if you liked it it really helps when you give a thumbs up because it gets recommended more on youtube otherwise this video will just be lost in the void i miss reading your comments so much i respond to every single one of them so yeah thank you i kind of don't want to leave I love you so much and I miss you and have a good day. Bye.